Dolphins are some of the smartest creatures on our planet. In fact, they're the second smartest, just behind mice. Being so clever means they do a huge selection of things other animals aren't capable of. One of the most impressive things about dolphins is their social structure. They've been known to move freely from pod to pod and even take in dolphins of other species into their own pods. The calves can stay with their mothers for years and have even been seen playing games together, like seaweed tag. Dolphin pods can be up to 30 dolphins strong and these get bigger when pods come together to form super pods of thousands of dolphins when they are in a place abundant with food. Most of the time however dolphins are in pods in the open ocean. The open ocean tends to be pretty big and pretty barren so getting lost from your pod could be a real issue. Say if one poor dolphin did get lost from the others, what would be their best way to regroup? When us humans get lost we tend to shout the names of who we get lost from and they tend to shout our names back. But can dolphins do the same? As the title of this video says, do dolphins have names for each other? Well before that let's look at the name dolphin itself. This is name explain after all. The modern name of dolphin in the English language is thought to come from the old English delphin, which in turn comes from the old Greek delphis, which comes from the similar Greek word delphis, which means womb. So why are dolphins named after wombs? Well there's a few theories as to why this is the case. One of these relating to the shape of dolphins. The ancient Greeks could have felt dolphins were a similar shape to wombs, which I can kind of see I guess. Another idea, and the one I personally feel is most accurate, is due to the fact they have wombs, also being known as a womb fish by the ancient Greek. Dolphins are mammals but live in the sea, have fins and have the overall appearance of fish. Well, they look more like fish than elephants do anyway. The fact they birth live young, unlike the eggs laid by other fish, could have been a unique enough trait to the ancient Greeks to name what they thought were fish after. The most interesting idea for this womb etymology, however, comes from the friendly relationship between humans and dolphins. The Greek Adelphi means from the same womb, and this etymology ties humans and dolphins together closely, making them our family in the sea. A lot of languages use a variation of dolphin, but some like the modern Welsh Morich and the Japanese Oluka translate to mean sea pig or pigfish. This can be seen in the English porpoise, relatives of dolphins, which name means sea pig. Anyway, that's how the name dolphin came to be, but that doesn't answer our question. Do dolphins have names for each other? Well, yes. It's not so much they have names for each other, but more they give themselves a name, making dolphins probably one of the only species on our planet that give themselves a name, and aren't named by others like how our parents named us and we name our pets which is seriously incredible. But what exactly are these names? Do they call themselves things like Boris or Susan? Well, their names aren't quite that human. A dolphin's name is also known as their signature whistle. This is a kind of whistle sound that is unique to that sole dolphin. Dolphins make all kinds of whistles, squeaks and click sounds to communicate in and out of their pods. But of course, a dolphin's most impressive use of sound is their echolocation ability. Waters can get pretty murky at times and even dolphins can struggle to see ahead of themselves. This is when they use high frequency clicks that create sound waves that traverse the oceans with ease. When these sound waves bounce off an object, the echo reaches the dolphin, allowing their brains to know that there is something coming up. I am no marine biologist, but this is incredible stuff. Anyway, that's another big tangent. What exactly do they use these names slash whistles for? Well, they use it for all kinds of things, much in the same way we use our own names and names of others. They've been known to use these whistles when entering and introducing themselves to a new pod, and to let other members of the pod know where they are and even how they're feeling. It's been reported that a dolphin will emit its signature whistle very loudly when in distress, so the other dolphins will know that it needs attention. Mothers and calves use their whistles to find each other when they get separated too, like how we humans do, though I guess we shout each other's names, not our own name. Though some reports say dolphins have been known to copy others' whistles. One group of researchers a few years ago recorded dolphin signature whistles and played them back to the dolphins, and they responded to their recorded signature whistles with their own signature whistles. There's still so much we need to learn about these amazing creatures. Thank you to everyone who helped support Name Explain on Patreon. I am genuinely forever amazed at just how many people use their hard earned cash to help financially support my passion and are making it possible for me to pursue this dream career of mine. It doesn't take a lot of money to help support the channel. Just $2 a month gets your name here with all these awesome people and lets the world know just how much you love Name Explain. Thank you.